Residents of the 134th State House District have a new voice in Harrisburg. Let's spend five minutes with State Representative Ryan McKenzie. Representative, thanks for uh, joining us here today. Thanks for having me. Uh, you were sworn into the uh, Pennsylvania State House of Representatives on May 8th. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you did uh, before becoming a representative? Absolutely. So most recently, I was the policy director at the State Department of Labor and Industry. So oversaw policy development on issues like unemployment compensation, workers' compensation, workforce development, uh, the Uniform Construction Code, and workplace safety issues. Okay. And uh, other, other experience I've, I, I've had also, I was uh, a, an employee at the U.S. Department of Labor, and also uh, I used to hold my real estate salesperson's license. Okay, so you have a lot of experience then. Um, what do you hope to accomplish in uh, the rest of your first term here? Sure, the three things that I'm really looking to accomplish very quickly and in short order are first and foremost uh, passing a budget that's on time and also doesn't include any tax increases. So we're in the midst of the budget negotiations right now and hopefully we're going to see uh, action in the House this week or at the latest next week. And uh, other than that, unemployment compensation reform, that's a, a big issue that I was working on while I was at the Department of Labor and Industry, should be coming to the House this, again, uh, this week or next week. And it's gonna, what it's going to do is eliminate the debt that's outstanding to the federal government of $3.8 billion in our unemployment compensation trust fund. It'll also get us our fund to a point where it's structurally solvent year over year and not losing money. And again, it'll also just reform the system overall. So it's going to be a huge win for uh, Pennsylvania, especially taxpayers, and really get our, our unemployment compensation trust fund back on the right track. So that's the second thing I'm looking to do. And then a, a third thing, and this is a, a larger and ongoing uh, goal that I have, is just reforming and streamlining, streamlining government. Sounds like a lot of great ideas. And uh, one thing you can already tell that your constituents have a hardworking representative. You were here a short time and you already had a, your first bill come out of committee. That was uh, House Bill 2366. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, why you authored that bill and what it does? Sure. So this is something that's actually, it's been around for a long time. It's an idea uh, to take the responsibility of inspection of parking meters from the Department of Agriculture and move it to the local municipalities. Uh, it hasn't been able to get accomplished uh, for, for a number of reasons, but I think we've worked out a, a lot of the kinks in the legislation, and hopefully we'll see that responsibility transferred to the local municipalities. It's something that they are in support of. Uh, the Boroughs Association is supportive of transferring that responsibility to them. I think uh, they like taking Harrisburg out of the equation. I also understand that you had decided to maintain former Representative Reichley's Emmaus District Office. Can you tell us a little bit about what your constituents can expect when they come into your district office? Sure. They're going to expect the same uh, excellent constituent service that they received from Representative Reichley and his staff. We've maintained the staff and the office location, as you mentioned, in Emmaus to really have that continuity of constituent service. So if they want to come in and receive help with their uh, PennDOT forms, you know, whether it's their registration, their uh, tags, anything like that, they can come in and help get help with that. Birth certificates, uh, forms relating to the, their military service, also uh, rent property and rent rebate forms, PACE and PACE net applications, all of these different uh, applications and forms, all the bureaucracy that people have headaches and problems with when dealing with government, they can come into our office and receive help. And uh, that is not your only district office, correct, in Emmaus? We'll also have a, a satellite office in Bally, down in Berks County, so at Bally Borough Hall. And we'll be there on Wednesday mornings from 9.30 till 12 noon. Okay, and we only have a little bit of time left, but can you tell us, do you have any uh, upcoming district events that you'd like to uh, talk about? Well, I think there are going to be a lot of district events coming up here over the summer, so just look for me in the community. I'll, I'll be all over the place. All right. Well, Representative McKenzie, again, congratulations on your win, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing more of you here on uh, Five Minutes With. Thank you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this or any other legislative topic, Representative McKenzie's contact information will be on the screen in a few seconds. Thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Ryan McKenzie.